a little more serious topic, kind of like the last video on business, but more so as it relates to credit. You see the title of the video. You know, what I want to get into real quick before we even talk about that is, I guess some people are going to question my credibility on the matter of, of credit and, you know, how knowledgeable I am on it or whatever. But if you haven't seen any of my other videos, or there, there's been a couple videos where I mentioned what I do, um, but I'm a banker. So, you know, I do this shit every day. I, I talk to people, I sell credit cards. I talk to people about them. I help people with their credit every day. I know the shit pretty much like the back of my freaking hand. Before y'all throw out assumptions or whatever, you know, I'm pretty sure that I killed it already. Let's get into it. Right, first topic on credit though. The thing is guys, a lot of young people, especially like my age and younger, they don't understand the importance of credit and how it follows you throughout your life. Y'all realize that these rich people, quote unquote top, you know, whatever percent you wanna say of the country or the world or whatever, they're using credit cards, guys. They're, they're not blowing cash. I mean, they blow cash, but it's a swiping age nowadays. Everybody's swiping. You're not going to be able to go anywhere if you don't have credit. You need credit for any, everything, pretty much. Okay, so you're trying to apply for an apartment. Guess what? They do a credit check. You're trying to uh, get a new job. They do a credit check. How, did, how can they expect you to show up on time, bust your ass for them, because they're they're using you. You're 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 their asset as an employee. Obviously, Alpha Mentality, my dudes over here, we don't want to be working for somebody else forever. But when you're working for someone, trying to build your capital up, best believe they're gonna want to see how consistent you are. How hardworking you are? What what they gonna check? They gonna check your credit? Cause if you can't pay your bills on time, how the hell are they gonna expect you to show up on time or get any work done? You trying to get a car? Obviously, that has to do with credit. They are gonna check your credit. The interest rate that you get on credit cards, on loans, on lines of credit, mortgage, all of that stuff has to do with your credit score. So you gonna get a super duper high ass interest rate if you got a trash ass credit score. It's important as hell, y'all. And it all starts now with, with how you spend your money. I know a lot of young people, when I even bring it up, if they haven't brought it up themselves, when I bring up something about a credit card and, and strictly for protection basis, because we all know how much fraud goes on when you use your debit card at a gas station with these skimmers and all this shit that everybody coming out with um, to hack your freaking accounts. When I bring up a credit card just for protection purposes, young people, man, they just automatically know They'll say something like, oh yeah, my pops got in trouble with a credit card or my family members told me to stay, my mom told me to stay away from credit cards because this and that and that's how banks do this and that and blah, blah, blah. Stupidest shit I ever heard. If I give you something and I give you the fine print right there, that's the interest rate, that's the annual fee, if there is one, and it's the line of credit that you have available to you. Who the hell's responsibility is it to charge that card up and not be able to make on-time payments? That's your ass. So don't come at me with, oh, well, credit cards are bad. No, nigga, you need credit cards. You just got to <laughs> be wise about how you're spending your money. Be wise about how you're making your payments. Make them on time. That's what you got to do. There's nothing wrong with the actual credit card, guys. There's nothing wrong with it. That is the number one building credit product I would suggest, a freaking credit card. More specifics on building credit and how to maintain. I, I wanna do credit consulting, I wanna do a credit course in the future, but for now, I'm just putting out this little basic video on it. It's important, guys, you're gonna need credit in life. You're like, you're, it, it's gonna be for everything. You already can't even get approved to live anywhere without them checking your credit. Like it's ridiculous. Even jobs are checking for your credit. They're checking your credit. More high-end jobs, at least. I mean, if you're looking for a professional career, they're gonna be checking your credit. Off rip for the people. If you just, you know, I know a lot of credit card offers are sitting in the mail and stuff. Generally, those ones are typically the ones where they're trying to get you with a super high APR interest rate, and they're gonna have you 
paying back for a long time and just accruing a bunch of interest over and over. And that's where, you know, the negative connotation comes from. But guys, if you looking to build your own business, because like I said before in the previous video, you don't really want to work for somebody. You want to build your own legacy. You don't want to have to sit here and clock in, clock out on this nigga's time. You want to be making your own money when you make your own money. I'm not trying to be doing, you know, the nine to five forever. That is never, that's never been a plan. That's never, that's never going to be the plan. So if you try to start a business, so you got everything, all your ducks in a row, you got registered by the state, you got an EIN, uh, you got a tax ID for your business and everything. Um, now you go into open a business account, right? Okay. They want to know what your business credit score is. Well, you don't have a business credit score because you just, obviously you're just starting a business, so you don't have a business credit score. They're going to look at your personal credit score. So see how that translates? If you got a shitty credit score and you, you got these uh, credit cards maxed out, you got them charged up, how are you supposed to get these, you know, opportunities out there? When you build a business, typically you're going to be operating off debt. What are you going to need? You're going to need a loan or a lot of credit probably to start it off, right? You might have to get inventory. You might have to pay some people that work for you, employees. You're gonna need some type of capital in order to start that business or get it off the ground. So you're gonna need a credit score. It's important. I really can't stress that enough, guys. So, I mean, I don't wanna see any, any not, not to say that, cause, cause you gotta understand, I deal with a day to, on a day-to-day -day basis, I deal with this stuff every single day. So I'm getting it in person, you know, all this negativity about, you know, credit and all this stuff, or all the uh, nonchalantness about it. Like, it's not that important for like, you know, kids just graduated from high school, going into college or, you know, little, or graduates my age and stuff. Like, they're not really taking it too seriously. But if, the earlier you start, the better. Because as your credit history lengthens, the better your credit score is gonna get. So the earlier you start, the better. Well, anyways, guys, that was a pretty quick vid. I didn't get into depth on anything. I wanna save that for, you know, the people that are really looking to uh, build credit or repair their credit if you got you know what I'm saying you've been through some things you might have been through a foreclosure or two you know it is what it is um, but if you are looking for that uh, some consulting on credit um, I should be able to get that started pretty soon I just need to know you know the demand pretty much I'm gonna try to intermingle the professional business videos with the dating slash game advice whatever you want to call it uh, videos try to intermingle those but mostly it'll be on the other side not too much on the professional yet because i'm still getting things set up that'll be something to look forward to pretty soon so y'all please leave some feedback let me know what you thought of the video check out the social media links in the description box still got the patreon going i got a couple videos i'm gonna post to that so that's still continuing to go uh but definitely making most of my posts on youtube so gotta grow this up i still want to continue to build a base over here y'all watch some spinning habits Y'all be easy, deuces.